Hi, this is Bob at eClassic Autos. Recently, the upper brake light on this Nissan stopped working. If you have a similar problem, here are the instructions for replacing the light. Note that this do-it-yourself video is for a 2007 350Z convertible, but may also be applicable to other Nissan models as well. Fortunately, access to the bottom of the lamp can be gained by lowering the top halfway and leaving the rear cover vertical. Once you have access to the bottom of the cover, remove the electrical connector and verify that you're getting power to this point. Use a meter to check the voltage from this connector as someone presses on the brake pedal. If you have power here, it's probably the brake light itself that is defective and it needs to be replaced. To remove the brake light, unscrew these two nuts and save them for reinstallation. The brake light pod will then lift off, although the gasket may tend to stick. With the brake light pod off, clean the mounting area, being sure to remove all pieces of old gasket. The new brake light pod comes with a fresh gasket installed on the underside. It is ready to use after removing the white strip to expose a double-sided tape. Installation of the new light is the reverse of the removal process. You may want to use some painter's tape to hold it temporarily in place while installing the mounting hardware. Install the two mounting nuts and connect the electrical power. After the new brake light is installed, check to make sure it's working properly. You should be able to order a new brake light from your local Nissan dealer, which they refer to as a high mount lamp. Note that this part is expensive and you can save some money by ordering it online. If you like an online link, please go to our website eclasticautos.com and search for Nissan. Good luck.